Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface on the beta for Warlords of Draenor with another Garrisons 101 video. In this series, I bring you various buildings from within your garrison, show off their utility and their worth, and then I'll allow you to make up your own mind whether or not it deserves a place in yours. Today, I'm going to bring you the Lunar Fall Inn, or if you're on the Horde side, it would be called the Frost Wall Tavern. At level 1, each day a visitor offering a dungeon quest with a generous reward will spend the day at your inn, so in effect, a daily quest. At level 2, you can recruit random followers each week. You can specify traits and abilities you're especially interested in as well. You can do one follower per reset. And at level 3, you unlock the particularly lucrative, that is a direct quote, treasure hunting missions. It doesn't cost much to construct either. 100 garrison resources, 150 gold, and of course, that obligatory hour of construction time. And there you go, you have your level 1 Lunar Fall Inn. So it might not be much to look at from the outside, but on the inside, plenty is going on with a very homely feel to it. There are two quests which we can pick up. We have Lonica Stillblade. She wants us to go into Grimrail Depot, complete her quest. She'll give us a cache of arms. So no doubt that contains a weapon inside. Hopefully we might be able to utilize it. And then if we speak to John Jay here, he also wants us to go into Grimrail Depot. That's just completely random and fluky, by the way complete his quest we'll get some gold and also the bloody bandana which can be utilized as a transmog item the aesthetic of the inn as well like i said it's very homely it's very warm there's nice looking duvets and covers the pillows probably have seen better days with the candles and such and here's lisa she's going to be the headhunter and she will allow us to gain a follower once per week but to do that we have to boost the inn to level two before we do that though, look what's happened. The orc who's just walked in is actually one of my followers. Now that this building is in place, he's just wandered in, taken a seat, and no doubt is going to have some mead and most likely get absolutely shitfaced if I don't send him on a mission. So it's pretty cool that your followers can wander in and out of that. So let's move it to level 2 now. To do so, you need 300 garrison resources, 300 gold, and of course, that hour of construction time. Get all that in place, and lo and behold, you'll have your level 2 in in absolutely no time. Or of course, if you're Horde, it'll be your Frost Wall Tavern. So now that that's been dealt with, let's go back inside our inn or tavern and let's speak to the headhunter, the person who can recruit a follower for us once a week. You've got two buttons at the top, ability or trait. The ability will allow you to select an ability for your follower that will counter an enemy threat. Danger zones, deadly minions, powerful spell, magic debuff. If you're going out on certain missions and you're lacking a follower that has one of these abilities, then it's pretty darn cool to take. Or you could go to the trait one instead, which you can choose your environmental preference, your increased rewards, mission duration, professions, racial preference, should you wish to. If you just want to have night elves as followers, pick them. Or you can also choose slayer preferences as well. The one that I'm going to pick is epic mount. This reduces the time of the mission of that follower by 50%. Once you've selected the ability or trait that you want, you then get three followers pop on with which you can select one of them. You might be lucky enough as well, not just to proc them as uncommon, but as rare or epic too. So this is all completely random. When you want the one you want, simply hire the follower and there you go. They are now part of your garrison followers. So what happens when you want to push it to level three? Well, like the other buildings, you have to complete an achievement. And this one is called Stay A While And Listen. You have to complete all of the inquests listed below. And there are 20 of them in total. Because you get two quests per day, 
you could in theory do it in 10 days. The likelihood is, however, that's not going to be the case because it is random which people pop up to give the daily quests. Should you get somebody for the first time and complete it, you'll get whatever reward they offer. The cachet of arms, the bloody bandana. But if they were to turn up again and you've already completed their mission, what they'll do is they'll give you a bag of goods instead. Probably have some garrison resources and gold inside. Don't worry though if you complete their mission outside of the day that they gave it to you. So if you don't manage to complete it to the next day and that person isn't in your inn to offer the mission again, it doesn't matter. Return to the inn, they will be there. They'll either be sat down at a desk, they'll be upstairs in one of the rooms or downstairs in the pantry, but they will be available to hand that quest in and that is pretty cool. Me personally, I want to see how long it takes to unlock these treasure hunting missions. I think they sound pretty interesting. I also want to be very specific at the type of follower I can also get into my garrison as well. So me, I think I'm going to have this in my garrison. I don't know about you, but let me know in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and also twitch.tv for live streaming. Those links are in the description down below. And I shall be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.